Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Welcome back to the hair lounge. I'm going to tell you guys the top eight things you need to make your hair look and feel fabulous. Stay tuned and we'll talk all about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, these are eight things I use on my hair every day. Well, maybe not every day. First thing you need is shampoo and conditioner. It all depends on your actual hair type. If you have fine hair, thick hair, coarse, curly. If you actually highlight your hair, or color your hair. But I like to use a super moisturizing shampoo and conditioner because we live in Idaho and Idaho is very, very dry. So this is what's in my shower right now. This is by Kenra and it is their platinum line and this is their Lux Shine shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo and conditioner is what is going to start your week off right. So if you have super dry hair like me, you also need to use a leave-in conditioner. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love It's a 10. This is their It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. Couple sprays of this and comb it through and you are going to help repair, add shine, detangle, and help speed up your drying time. Not everybody needs to use this every single day, but you will need at some point, whether you have fine hair or super, super healthy hair, every once in a while you need to add a little extra moisture to your hair. So this is a great one to begin with. And don't forget you guys, if you're liking what you see, hit that red subscribe button right now. And at this end, end of this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I also love to add my serums or oils to my hair. Again, like I said, I have super dry hair. And so if I am going on day two or day three of not washing my hair, I need a little extra shine to it. My ends start looking a little dry and a little damaged. Now these serums are my favorite. You don't have to get both, but these are the ones that I personally like to use on my hair. This one is Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. And this one adds tons of shine. It helps redu your, reduce your drying time and gets rid of frizz. If you have watched any of my other videos, I love to do reviews on Olaplex. If you haven't watched my Olaplex video about their bonding oil, click this link right here and it'll take you to that video. This I like to call liquid gold. It is Olaplex number seven. And this one is super, super awesome. Again, for those days that you are not washing your hair and your ends are seeming a little dry. Now you're going into say day three of not shampooing your hair. What do you need? Dry shampoo. So this you have seen before. It is by Bedhead and it's called O Beehive. And this is a really good thing to have in your arsenal of tools when you are trying to prolong your hairstyle. You give it a little shake, spray it on your roots, rub it in. I do have a video of how to use dry shampoo as well. Click this link right here and it'll take you to that video. But this is awesome because you should not be washing your hair every single day. So get yourself a dry shampoo. Now, my favorite brush because you need a brush to be able to get the tangles out distribute any of that leave-in conditioner or if it's just the end of the day and you haven't brushed your hair in a while this is my wet brush it's an awesome detangling brush it has super flexible bristles and it does not pull on your hair so if you do not have one of these brushes you need to get a brush like always i link everything down below in the description box that way it's super super easy for you to find all of these products that I'm talking about today. All right, let's move on. Now you need a good hairspray. Not all hairsprays are the same. I do also have a video of explaining what hairsprays you need to choose for yourself. So click that link. But I like to use one that is buildable. So meaning I can start with say like a level eight hold up to a level 10. So I love Joyco's power spray eight through 10. I can use just a light mist just to kind of hold my style and it's still 
brushable or I can still run my hands through it. But if I'm doing say a high ponytail or like my hair I did today and I have flyaways, I can do extra sprays so it has more of a hold. So I suggest get a really good hairspray like this one to incorporate in your arsenal of tools. Now let's go to one of my favorites, number eight of what you should have underneath your cabinet at home. My lovely Invisibobble. Invisibobbles are perfect because they do not damage your hair. They are so ridiculously flexible. And so you can do those super easy messy buns or pull your hair into a ponytail and it is not gonna create breakage. Another thing I love about the invisible bobble is you can put these in hot water and they shrink back up. Unlike elastics, you guys all know, I'm sure you've all have had this happen where you keep using them and eventually the elastic is just kind of soft and it doesn't hold its shape anymore. These you can put in hot water and they shrink right back up. So this is a perfect way to not damage your hair and still get your hair off of your face. You guys, what'd you think of my list of eight things you must have to have fabulous hair? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, hit that red subscribe button right now. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.